Tell him the man the preacher of the word. Ah, bamuita TP Joshua. Ya kulembera ekanisa ya synagogue. Is the one who leads the church of all synagogues. Yomo Nigeria. The one in Nigeria. Akede kufa. He just got up and left and he died. Oh, he, he, he slept dead. Nenga otunuli abantu basabide. But when you look at the people he has prayed for. Otunuli abantu bayambye. Look at the people he has helped. God gave us another punishment. And you would have taken, taken death away. God, you have helped me. And you take me like Elijah. But I don't want to die. If there is anything I have to do not to die, I would have done it when it's still early. Even if it is repenting five years after time after time, I can do it. Because there are people who go off our side and we are still learning from them and we are really taking initiative from them for the things that they've been doing because you can be a great man when you're not learning from others. Uh-uh. No. And you can be a great man. A great woman. When you don't have a mirror. That you're really looking up to. So many people. Who have been using TB Joshua as their reflection. Me being past. When I look at the clips the way he started, I'm also following that. That it will be one day I reach there. It has really beaten me far. Because where he has gone, I don't want to go. Because me, I don't want to die. God, you have been merciful and you don't kill me. I know that it will be possible. But it will, but it will be so different when you're burying me. But I don't want. I don't know that there is anything else to do. But anyone else? So I also want you to start doing good. That you can become a reflection of the mirror of this world. That even if the other one wants to come and see themselves through it, the things you've done, it makes them get salvated and admitting God. But me, I'm praying for T.B. Joshua. If you want him or you don't want him, for the great things that he has done and the ones that I know, that he God should give him a rest that is true and that is right. In Jesus' name. Amen. And for those who have been proud of him and those who have been following him, I pray that the God of Nazareth should hold them and should encourage them. In Jesus' name, our Lord. For he has done all that he has done. If Jesus also gives us the grace that those people who have done good, they come back and we also see them again. And we hold our, our strength. But your fellow really diminishes. And they don't come back, it really. It doesn't matter who, who have you lost. But let God give them a rest and peace. Let's start working for the good things. If we all gather as pastors, and we go to God and we ask, what do we do? That so we can remove this punishment. Today I was thinking so much. And I said, God, the, the devil really tried to go against you. And there was a battle in heaven. But he didn't give the devil a punishment of death. But we the ones that he just tempted. Why did you have to give us this punishment of death? I'm speaking this as someone who is in sin. Because I'm not set. Why? The devil is going to be there forever. 
Because when he tempts me, he is always going to tempt my children. He is always going to tempt my, also my grandchildren. Why doesn't God help us? And he kills the other one. And he gives us the life. Then he takes life out of the other one. If we can gather as pastors, then the pain goes away from people. And it even leaves us. We will have ministered when we have strength. But all in all, God should have mercy. In Jesus' name. Yet, what am I telling you? That we should abide by the body of Jesus Christ. All the things that you are doing, we are going to leave it all. Because God gave us a punishment. And I'm praying to God that if He can change the punishment and He take the punishment of death. We can all be equal. But the punishment that God gave us that is so gigantic is death. We are going to die. And so and so will die. But why do we die? But it's because it is a punishment unto us. The Bible says in Genesis, Genesis chapter 2, verse 11, verse 16, and 17. Listen carefully. Revelation chapter 2, 16. Genesis, sorry, Genesis chapter 2. Vedevedebidikumnamkaga. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the origin that, that no, does not allow me and me and you to remain alive in this world. For everyone I want you to work. Knowing that everything that you're doing. You're doing what is last. Because you don't know what will happen tomorrow. You don't know what is going to happen at four. You can prepare a program. Yes. And you say tomorrow at four we are going to meet. But we are all available. For the being of Jesus Christ. Because there is a man here who has been serving God, who has been working for God. People have really learned from him. And I'm one of them. Because I've been following him. On 12, in, in June, or on 12, that is the day he passed on. That's when he called people to come for his birthday. But it's so surprising that is the day they are going to bury him. Yet he got up early and died. And they denounced his death. But for the time that he has ministered unto God, everyone has been admiring him. Me personally being part of them. 
So you say you and ask yourself what are we supposed to work for? What are we supposed to to reap? Whatever you reap, kungula ngebirungi. Reap good things. All that that the good things that you do to people. That is your heaven. That God has prepared for you. Whenever you have someone you help in this world. Whenever you have someone you do good to. Or whenever you do good. In your life. Know that that is heaven. You are going to go that you're going to enter into or what is going to enter into heaven all that you have should not pride you because you're going to leave all that I'm, I'm telling you as preparing but now he's dead he's dead if it is death he just left But what really causes us that? Let's learn how to do good. The eating the truth of no understanding. Know that your neighbor or your fellow. He needs something. Just share it with him. Beef and envy should get out of your heart. Knowing that any time there is a great judgment God who is going to call you and is waiting for you to give out your accountability. There is nothing that you are going to reap. Even what is going to be last, there's no one who buys himself a coffee. There's no one who digs himself a grave. It means that those who will have remained in the world, they are, they are the people who give you something wealthy to go with. So, the things and, heavy and, and the bad things that you do should not finish you up. If you've gotten something, I want to start sharing it with your friends. Knowing indeed that you're sharing it with them for the last moment. When God will have still given you the grace, remain doing the same. In this world, you're not here because you're supposed to be. We are here for the grace of the Lord. The, the, those that he wants us to change. Some of us is violating for is giving us big values. If you really approach your value, for dying we are going to die. I'm also going to die. But how have I died? First ask yourself. You're going to die, but how are you going to die? What will make people? Not even people. What will make God? The grace. Father in heaven. Amen. Yes, Jesus Christ give you a good life. Yes, Christ will give you a way that works well. Because when he gives a heart that works well, you will have a sin that you take away. Yes, Christ will give you that heart. In Jesus' name, Amen.